Good morning. Good morning. morning. Chilly morning for me. Uh, my name is Natasha Prego. I work with IMARC. Uh, and hi, I know all of you from, uh, some of you from the uh, uh, last week, uh, week and a half that I was here. Um, today I'm going to be uh, talking and uh, reviewing with you uh, the plan options you have for uh, our plan with through Blue Cross Blue Shield and Highmark for 2017, we will have two options, PPO and the Community Blue Flex, also uh, your dental benefits, and uh, we will be talking about some website tools and uh, that you can use uh, to save with Highmark and Blue Cross Blue Shield and uh, to find doctors and hospitals. First thing I want to point out is that uh, it's a very broad network. You have 96% of all hospitals and 92% of physicians on the blue network. So, and it's uh, across the country. So it's a very broad network of providers you have. Also, other benefits that you have, it's blues on call 24 seven certified health coaches and nurses. Uh, also, you have virtual medicine and uh, also care cost estimator that is going to give you an estimate of uh, over 1,000 procedures like surgeries, if you need uh, an MRI, blood work, it can give you uh, how much it's going to cost you, uh, at least an idea, the highest and lowest cost. And depending on the facility you're having your procedure. I think you all know the basics the deductible, amount you pay before the plan begins to pay, coinsurance, just the percentage you have to pay the provider uh, after you cover your deductible, your copay, upfront dollar amount. L let's say that uh, you have a 15 copay for a doctor visit, that's what you pay, and then the plan pays the rest. <coughs> that's a copay. You just go to the doctor and pay your 15, 20 dollars and your out-of-pocket limit, which is the maximum dollar amount uh, you pay in coinsurance. Very important, in both plans, options, you have the preventive care, covered 100%, okay? Like your animal physical, immunizations like flu shots, <coughs> uh, also the pap test for ladies, mammograms, colonoscopies. But, very important about the preventive, you have to have only a conversation with your doctor just regarding your preventive. If, if you talk to the doctor of uh, maybe another condition or maybe another health condition you have, it can become diagnostic and then you can be billed. So make sure it's just under your preventive schedule. You will be receiving booklets after the presentation and you will have the preventive schedule with all that is covered 100%. As you see, preventive, you don't have any symptoms. Diagnostic, you have symptoms. So if you go for your annual physical, but you say, hey doctor, I have pain in my shoulder or I have been having migraines, then that will become possibly diagnostic, and then you're going to have a bill <coughs> instead of being covered 100%, okay? So make sure you only talk to the doctor about the preventive. First plan option, the PPO Blue, Preferred Provider Organization. With the PPO, you have the network of providers, very broad network, as I told you, 96% hospitals, 92 doctors, if you go out of network, you're going to be paying more. It's a two-tier plan. In network, out of network. You want to stay in network all the time. The deductible, it's going to be 2,500 for individuals and 5,000 for family. But, but, you're going to be responsible for union employees of 250 for employee only and 500 for family, for other employees, it's going to be 500 and 1,000 for family because your employer has set 
uh, what is called an HRA, Health Reimbursement Account. Once you cover your responsibility of 250, 500, or 500, 1,000 for the other employees, then the HRA will come in and pick up and it will cover the rest, okay? So don't be apprehensive about that uh, big deductible amount because your HRA set by uh, Doubletree, by, by Hilton, uh, will be uh, covering the rest, okay? That's why it's in red. Uh, the coinsurance, 100%. After you cover your deductible, it's gonna be covered 100%, the plan will pay. And also, you don't have any out-of-pocket limits. And you have co-pays, as I was telling you, the co-pay, the amount you paid up front. If you go to your PCP, you're gonna be paying $20, that's it, and then the plan picks up. Especially, it's, it's a little bit more, $40 co-pay. And as I told you, the preventive is gonna be 100% covered. Urgent care, 45 of co-pay. Emergency room, 125 copay, but it's going to be waived if you get admitted to the hospital. Okay? And also, other, you have other hospital uh, inpatient, outpatient, 100% after the deductible. And on the booklet, you will be receiving, there will be a grid like this one with all the benefits right there. Okay? As you can see, if you stay in network, this is your deductible and coinsurance. If you go out of network, it's doubled and you have to pay 20%. That's why make sure your providers are in network, okay? You don't want to be paying more money than you have to. Then we have the second option, which is called Community Blue Flex. <laughs> With this plan, you have also, you can control your healthcare cost, but it's a three-tier plan. I'm gonna show you uh, next. And also, you also have a very broad network of providers. As I told you, and you have, the difference with the PPO is that you have three-tier plan. You have the out-of-network, but in-network, you have two levels enhanced and standard, okay? This is your highest cost sharing. This is your lower cost sharing and this is your lowest cost sharing. You're gonna see when I, I have a slide with uh, the benefits and the coinsurance and the uh, deductible. As I told you, 7,600 physicians in Western PA, seven, 720,000 providers all over the country and many choices uh, for your health care. Right here, three-tier plan, out of network. You want to stay, of course, out of the out of network. In network, you have, you have standard and you have enhanced. As you can see, your deductible here is the same one as on the PPO, but if you go standard, it's gonna be 5,000, 10,000, a little bit more, okay? Also, your coinsurance, 100% cover or under the enhanced, but 70% cover under the standard, so you're responsible for 30%, okay? You're out of pocket, zero under the enhanced, and 1,500 and 3,000 over the standard. And primary care office visits, 20, 40, and special is 40, 75. Your preventive, as in the PPO, will be 100% covered. Okay, emergency room, also, it's a little bit higher, 150 copay. Okay, which is the difference between the enhanced and the standard? Okay, on the standard, do we have two differences main differences. Number one, the cost sharing is going to be more under standard than enhanced. Second, the network. The community blue flex gives you the opportunity to uh, go to doctors, mostly of, uh, uh, you know, UPMC doctors also, and few independent providers. That's the network, mostly for the, to cover the consent decree if 
you don't want to, to leave your UPMC doctor. I'm gonna, co I'm gonna talk about the consent decree later on. On the enhanced, what you will have, all AHN, doctors and hospitals, the Allegheny Health Network, okay? Independent providers also, and from UPMC you will have Children's Hospital, and you will have also Western Psych. They are covered enhanced. Other thing that is covered enhanced, your emergency room services. If you go to a UPMC um, hospital for emergency services, it's covered enhanced, okay? Because and in any hospital, if, if the hospital is out of network, but it's an emergency, you're covered enhanced under this plan. So those are the main differences between the standard and the enhanced, besides from the higher uh, cost sharing you will have. This is, uh, uh, it's gonna be on your booklets also, an idea of the hospitals uh, that are available to you, uh, and it's covered enhanced, like the Allegheny General, as I told you also, Western Psych, Children's, uh, Children's until 2022. It's the only hospital, UPMC hospital, that will be covered until 2022 because the consent decree will be finished by 2019. So you have some time to think if, if you can, uh, you know, make the transition to AHN or another independent provider if you choose a community blue flex or stay with your doctors. Also, these facilities are in network for both plans. Children's until 2022, Western Psych, Hillman Cancer Center, also Altoona, Bedford, uh, Horizon, which are UPMC uh, hospitals. Any questions about the uh, community Blue Flex and PPO? The main difference is the tiers. <coughs> One is two tiers, the other is two tier plan. And uh, of course, uh, the access to e, uh, to the UPMC. Uh, from our, from my point of view, if if you're going to be having like extensive relationship, and you're going to be going to a, to UPMC a lot, maybe you have to think about the PPO. Why? Because you won't have more coinsurance on the standard and more deductible. So that depends. On, you have to sit at home, uh, think if you want to make a transition to, uh, you know, to uh, other providers on the network. Uh, but if you want to, you know, if you're going to be using UPMC a lot, then you have to think about it. Because under the Community Blue Flex, you have more coinsurance under the standard. On the uh, PPO, you only have in-network, out-of-network. Prescriptions. Retail, <coughs> 31, 60, and uh, 90 day supply. Works with co-pays. If it's generic, $8 for 31, just to give you an example. If it's 60 days, it's $16, and if it is a 90 day supply, 24. If you are in a maintenance drug, because any health condition like diabetes, or uh, uh, high blood pressure, the way to go, the best thing to do is a 90 day supply through mail order because you're gonna be saving some money. As you can see here uh, on the uh, retail for a 90 day supply of, uh, let's say that like it's a brand copay, it's 150. But if you go over here and order 90 days, it's gonna be 100. So you're saving and from 50 to 50 to $50, you, it's a couple of hundreds, okay? Prescription has the same co-pays on both plans, PPO and Community Blue Flex. Okay, virtual medicine. Do you have benefits on virtual medicine, which is just talking to your doctor through your smartphone, your tablet, or your computer, or through also with a call, okay? It's just uh, very affordable, 24-7. It's very easy, and you can consider using virtual medicine uh, when you are on vacation, or you don't want to go to the urgent care facility, or you're, it's a, uh, you know, it's let's say 1 a.m. in the morning, uh, and uh, you you have like a cold, mild fever, uh, cough, then you can go ahead and use telemedicine because. 
it's more affordable, it's only a $15 copay. If you go to the emergency room, it's gonna cost you a couple of hundred dollars. So, and the doctor, it's certified and licensed on the state. If you are, let's say, I travel a lot, so uh, I was in Oregon uh, last week, and then Missouri. If I maybe, if I feel a little bit of stomach, upset stomach or fever, I would have, believe me, call telemedicine and uh, go through the telemedicine services uh, because I was traveling and if it's not an emergency, if you don't have chest pain, if you are not out of breath, if, if you think that uh, you, know, you can uh, use the service, please do it because you're gonna be saving a lot of money. It's gonna save you some money. You have Doctor On Demand and Amwell, those two uh, telemedicine services. You can register before you need the service because they're gonna be asking you some questions, okay? Your medical history, allergies, the pharmacy of your choice. So before you need the service, go ahead, doctorondemand.com, amwell.com, just register, and then if you need the service, you just go straight to the doctor and talk to the doctor. As I told you, just register before you need the service. Okay, who's in network and who's not? And we will be talking also about the consent decree between uh, Highmark and uh, UPMC. We, we're gonna have an overview of the ER access, the continuation of care, cancer coverage, and the network. As I told you in the uh, same slide, uh, but just as a reminder, these hospitals are still in network, okay? And the doctors, pediatricians at Children's, this is the only hospital until 2022. The others, the consent decree will be finished by 6 30, 2019. Regarding Mercy, Mercy, it's already out of network as of July 1st, 2016. Exception, if it falls, the service you're going to receive, if it falls under the consent decree, then you don't have any problem. But if you just go to, to Mercy Hospital uh, without any symptoms, it's not an emergency, if not, it's not continuation of care, it's gonna be out of network, okay? But if it falls under the provisions of the consent decree, then it's covered in network. Physicians of UPMC is still in network. All, all physicians outside the uh, uh, Allegheny, Beaver, Butler, Washington, and Westmoreland. Of course, all the uh, community hospitals, UPMC, Hammond, Horizon, that they are in network. Oncology providers because of the consent decree, the uh, cancer care. And also pediatricians because of children's, okay? And also Western Psych and uh, all UPMC behavioral health providers. The ER care, as I was telling you before, you can visit any UPMC emergency room. It's gonna be covered, enhanced, okay? And any hospital, it doesn't have to be like um, uh, UPMC. But under the consent decree, you are covered, enhanced for the emergency. Cancer coverage also, in all UPMC facilities, oncologists, and also any complications resulting from that cancer condition is gonna be covered uh, in network under the standard level. Continuation of care. This is one of the most uh, important, I think, uh, provisions of the consent decree. If you are being treated by a, for a chronic condition or persistent condition, during 2013, 14, or 15, with a UPMC provider, you can continue to see your UPMC provider. Uh, let's say if it's for diabetes, uh, HPP, uh, COPD, any chronic or persistent condition, you can continue to see your doctor, okay? And if that doctor, UPMC provider, is treating you because of that chronic condition, you can receive preventive uh, services also uh, with UPMC. That's a change we have this year uh, uh, when on the beginning of, of the, uh, you know, 
the contractual uh, uh, bridge between Highmark and um, UPMC, the preventive were, were not covered if the UPMC provider uh, gave you the preventive services. You had to go to a in-network. So now, if you are being treated under the continuation of care and you will have preventive services, that can be done by your UPMC provider. Uh, also, however, you will not be referred to a, a new UPMC doctor, okay? If, uh, let's say that uh, you're seeing uh, uh, internal medicine and he wants you to see a cardiologist, then that doctor must be in network because it's a new doctor and it, will, it won't fall through the con uh, continuation of care, okay? If you have any doubts regarding an in-network provider, you have many choices. You have my care navigator, that number is on the back of your car. They can uh, give you answers regarding benefits, regarding the consent decree, UPMC, and providers, if you are not sure if it's in network or not. And also customer, also your customer service number, which is also on the back of your car. Pregnancy, totally academic, because it was only through uh, December 30, uh, 2015, and it's October, so I don't think so. It's nine months, as far as I know. So that's totally academic. Other thing uh, under the consent decree is the balance dealing. If you decide that you want to still go to a UPMC provider that is out of network, many people, they, they want to do that, uh, there's a provision that it's called the balance billing protection. You will be charged up to 60% by UPMC. Let's say that it's, uh, the charge is $1,000, but under the balance billing protection of the consent decree, the charge, it's only 600 because it's only 60%, 60 okay? Then HIMAR pays whatever our fee is for the, uh, the, uh, the uh, out-of-network uh, provider, and then you just pay the difference between those two instead the difference between the 1,000 and what we pay. So that's uh, if uh, for people that uh, they still want to uh, go to an out-of-network provider. And also there's access for uh, 64 or, or older through the consent decree, Medicaid members and for children. Any questions about uh, the consent decree or the uh, community blue flags or the PPO. Okay, and if, if, if you have uh, any specific situation uh, regarding uh, your UPMC health condition and uh, you want to know in your specific circumstances, you can call Highmark or My Care Navigator to, uh, they can answer you uh, on your specific uh, situation uh, if you have a UPMC provider, okay? Uh, then, your dental. You have two choices, the, H, the DHMO and uh, what we call the Advantage Plan. <coughs> you have uh, a deductible of 50 for individual, 150 for family. That is waived if it's diagnostic or preventive. You have the grids uh, with you. I think Stephanie gave you the uh, dental grids. And uh, also, maximum per year here, $1,000, okay? And class one services that includes like cleanings, uh, fluoride treatments, it's totally covered 100%, no deductible. Other services like uh, crowns, uh, repairs, 80%, your responsibility up 20, okay? And class three, like crowns and prosthetics, 50%. And orthodontics uh, is not covered through this uh, advantage. Uh, the DHMO, this plan works on participation, okay? Uh, it's like 106 people that has uh, to be. Yeah, uh, but um, you know it's based on participation. But uh, you have 
you have the advantage as a, uh, another option, okay? Here, you have also the grids, and uh, you just have to pick a PDO, or primary dental office, and then on your grid, you will have what you have to pay, the co-pays for services covered, and mm, other, you know, many other services you don't have to pay because they are totally covered. Uh, but, as Mary Beth uh, told you, based on participation, at least 70%. But you have the advantage also. Okay, the HRA. As I told you, your employer has set up an HRA, health reimbursement account, that is gonna help you pay for your medical expenses. The HRA, we'll, we will be talking about the basics and uh, the contributions. Uh, the HRA is a, a special account that your employer sets up to help pay for your healthcare expenses. Is established by the employer, by the employer, as a different from the HSA, which is a health savings account. The HSA is the employee's account. Even if you change jobs, the HSA is, is yours. The HRA is the employer's account, okay? Also, also, it was the same. You just go, receive your medical services, the doctor sends the claim, and then it's processed as a regular claim. You just have to pay, of course, your deductible, or if you have to pay for prescriptions and medical. Uh, but, it, but it works uh, the same as, uh, as an HSA, okay? For qualifying expenses, remember uh, that all these accounts uh, through the IRS, which is, uh, they, they make the rules as for almost everything, um, uh, it's for qualifying medical expenses. Uh, there is a, it's a very, very huge list of medical expenses covered. Um, uh, if you want more info, uh, you can go to irs.gov uh, and they have a list of all the medical uh, uh, qualifying expenses that you can use your uh, HRA for. And the contributions, as I told you, made by the employer, they may give you the, the employer, depending on the setup, they can give you the opportunity to sometimes some money rolls over to, to the next year and you have some time just to expend that money. Uh, also, they can extend uh, your claim uh, um, time to file claims also, but that depends on the employer. You will know uh, how it is set up right here. Uh, and also, uh, you can check your contributions, the contributions on our member services uh, through the, uh, you just enter highmarbcvs.com and you will see the spending tab, and also you will have a claim tab. You just register on the website, and you will see your balance, the contributions, and all your claims processing, okay, through the uh, highmarbcbs.com. Uh, yeah, sure. to set up the account or, uh, no, it, but, but you can take a look at the account of what you have uh, and uh, the claims and everything through the, uh, through the website, okay? But in setting up the account, you don't have to do anything, okay? So uh, establishing your HRA, the setup will be done for you. You don't have to do anything. And of course, uh, remember for eligible expenses, if you want to learn a little bit more, go to the Resource Center, My Benefits Home, dash hra.com and you can also use hra funds to uh for qualified ta tax dependents but talk to your tax advisor uh because sometimes there are maybe adult children or domestic partners that they can they are not uh, eligible dependents and also you can see your plan activity statements on highmarbcbs.com you can take a look at your claims and your spending and you can track, as I told you, your HRA online. You will see the balance, activity uh, statements, the track payments, and you can review your medical claims all in highmarbcvs.com. 
And uh, finally, a uh, member website. You have a lot of tools and uh, resources through our, uh, our member website, highmarkbcbs.com, on your smartphone, tablet, or computer. And also, also take advantage of, uh, with the health coaches, eat healthy, you can manage your weight, they can help you manage your stress, get active. If you have any questions about managing your prescriptions, even the health coaches can do that for you. They can help with that. And also, find a doctor. There's a, on the website, there's a tool called Find a Doctor. It's gonna ask you some questions, your address, and uh, what uh, the specialty of the, uh, of the uh, doctor you want, and some other questions about the plan, and you will be able to find a doctor, uh, and you will see if it's enhanced, standard, or any other distinction that uh, we have for our providers, okay? Carico's estimator, uh, as I told you, is gonna give you an estimate of uh, the cost of any procedures. Uh, sometimes um, it's uh, less expensive to have, let's say, la la your lab test, your blood work on an independent lab than going to the hospital. It's gonna be more expensive. So you're gonna have there all the comparisons on the facilities. And of course, claims and spending tab. And if you're traveling, you want to go ahead and call before you leave uh, to know uh, providers, uh, let's say that you're going to uh, Puerto Rico, to the Caribbean islands, or any other place outside the US, call to see what, uh, which hospitals are available if you, need, if you have an emergency, okay? and the care cost estimator that I talked to you about, the claims and spending tab, and uh, t ways to save. ER for emergencies, okay? Imaging centers, independent labs, go generic. You can save a lot, okay? And share your results with your doctor so you don't get like double, let's say, blood work if you go to the uh, PCP and then the, you are referred to a, a specialist, share those, those labs because it's gonna cost you, it's gonna be uh, two times that you have to do, uh, you know, uh, the, uh, the test. And blues on call, as I told you, 24 seven. Oh, that's cozy, that's nice. Do uh, you have uh, the number on the back of your card? 24 seven. And my care navigator that I told you about uh, they can even transfer medical records for you and make appointments, okay? And they can find doctors for you. It's just a call away uh, between having to go out of network, pay more, or knowing that your, your doctor is in network. And, of course, all the numbers. Also, you can visit our Heimer Direct stores and uh, social media, as almost anyone uh, any corporation is, Facebook, we are on Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, okay? Any questions, uh, you will be receiving your booklets with all the grids and all the information on the plans. I just want to say one thing. Since now you have a space in the particular room that you currently have with the community <coughs> and the like, it's important for you to make sure that you're, if you move to the community address that your doctor is in the same room. Go ahead. Three, by extension, it's 321. I'll be glad to help you with, with that. If you have pay issues that come up, if you get a bill that you don't think you owe, rather than try to find someone here to help you, you can call me, you can send it to me, and I can help you. Can you repeat uh, the phone number? Mary Beth Pronko, P R O N K O. Yes. It's a little confusing. It's not something that any of us are used to. It's, it's just a new product, and I'll be glad to help you navigate through that. So if 
no more questions. Uh, thank you for having me today, and uh, all of you, uh, I wish you a great day. Thanks a lot. Oh, the booklets. Yep.